Mask Architects has designed the world's first steel 3D printed structure of modular houses for Nivola Museum's visitors, tourists and artists in Oronian city of Sardinia. Osna Nasser and Danilo Petta, inspired from the work of Costantino Nivola, have designed exosteel Mother Nature modular houses for which they have taken inspiration from him sculpture called the La Madre. The studio is the first architecture and design studio in the world to use a steel 3D printed exoskeleton construction system that supports and distributes all the functional elements of the building, using their new solution of construction technique which they called exosteel. The house is composed firstly by a hollow central column inserted for one third of its length into the ground and by various organic branches that support the three floors of the building. On each floor a perimeter frame divides and supports the facades made up of panels modeled to follow the organic shape of the house. Each building which is self-sustainable can also provide energy resources to the grid of the development. We have designed each module to always be expandable and flexible so that they can always suit any terrain and meet the needs of any development. Each building is centered with an energy tower that will provide all natural generated energy from solar and wind. The energy tower is covered with solar panels that will harvest solar energy while the top of the centered energy tower itself will rotate 360 degrees at the same time with the wind that will also generate wind turbine energy. The voids in the modules allow channeled wind through that can be directed to the wind turbines. Placed at the top of the tower are also some technological instruments such as smart cameras and fire detectors. This is to provide social security and also to have natural security against natural disasters. Throughout the lower part of the center tower, we have housing for all the technical equipment of the module that houses all necessary storage for water and energy as well as distribution stations for the surroundings. Light on the modules also provide visibility for the surrounding areas as each building acts like a beacon on the mountain. At night time the lights can also provide entertainment lighting for social use and exhibitions. The network of lights on all the modules are enabled to work as a single unit for events for the surrounding museum as well as nationals days, etc. There can be many different formations in which these modules can be situated on the site, from a single module being sustainable on its own to a gathering of modules in a kite diamond formation to create a small community. The aim is to always be able to adapt and in this case these modules can be set up in a network to create a fully functioning self-sustained habitat. Mm -hmm.